welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be showing you guys some dressage tips that you can use to help you with mastering star stable dressage and becoming a star stable dressage pro um, these are all fairly simple tricks that a lot of people use um, but they're all very good tricks, so I hope you will learn something today. And yeah, let's just get into it. If you're subscribed to my personal channel where I just post random stuff, you might know that I made this same video like a little while ago, probably like a year ago. It was a long time ago. Um, but that video is gone now because I just really hated that video. Some of the stuff that I said kind of made sense, but overall, I think that video didn't make any sense. So, I'm basically, I'm just, I'm gonna make a better version of it now. <laughs> um, but yeah, so these are just things that I've learned over the years from, um, dressage clubs and things like that. This first trick is to always make sure that your camera is in the right position. So you might want to zoom out a little bit. So we're going to zoom out just a tiny bit because for me it is easier when I can see my entire horse. Um, so you, you might want to zoom out a little bit just so that you can see things well. And this trick is something that I learned in a Rebecca Ravenbird video. And basically what you want to do is just keep your camera um, fixed right here just a little bit above your horse. And just keep it fixed right about here. And what that does is it basically just makes your life easier. It makes it easier to tell what you're doing and it makes it easier to keep track of where exactly your horse is standing on the floor of the arena. So even when you're doing a move, you just want to keep it right here fixed in this position. And that way you just have a nice view of everything that is going on. And for this trick, you're going to um, want to have a mouse because it is a pretty helpful to keep your camera like this. Um, so if you don't have a mouse, then I would definitely consider getting one. It's not like a top priority. Like if you don't have a mouse, that's not the end of the world um, but I would definitely recommend using one another thing that I recommend is do not use the arrow keys so the next tip um, is to not use the arrow keys I would suggest using W A S and D um, just because the way you have to like position your hands when you're using the arrow keys is just it's just kind of weird um, and it's just kind of an uncomfortable position to be in um, unless you're using your mouse um, with your left hand um, then it's just kind of weird um, it's not the end of the world if you use um, the arrow keys, um, but I would recommend W, A, S, and D because I, j I think it's a lot easier. Um, so, yeah, it's just something that I would recommend. This next trick I learned from a Pink Queen's Legacy video, and I think it's actually pretty helpful, and that is if you are in a dressage line and you are falling behind instead of just cantering until you catch up you would just 
click at W and then as soon as you canter you would click S so that you would only canter for like one stride and I have found that that is kind of helpful because it keeps you from accidentally going too far because that does happen very easily. So you would just kind of go like this just one or that was two but you get you get what I mean just a little canter and that kind of just prevents you from smashing into the person that is in front of you because that does happen sometimes my next tip is to go exactly when you hear slash see the word go depending on what method of communication you're using um what you don't want to do is actually wait until the rest of the dressage line moves because of this thing called screen delay so basically what screen delay does is it just makes it look like everybody else is behind on your screen and it makes you look like you're ahead ideally you'll actually want to look like you're starting the move just a little bit before everybody else if the word go is existing then you cannot be early so just don't be afraid that you're like too early or something if you go exactly when you hear slash C go, then you will be on time. And my last tip is to just practice a lot and that will of course be a very helpful. Um, some things that you can do are you can um, you can join dressage lessons from global chat. Um, or you can look up a YouTube video with dressage moves and practice those. Or um, you can join like a Discord server or something that offers dressage lessons. But yeah, so there are many different ways that you can learn more stuff about dressage. So, um... YouTube has been probably the most helpful to me, um, but yeah, so I would just recommend practicing, and you can practice on your own, which I find kind of helpful, that helps me get more used to doing moves. Alright, those are all my dressage tips. Um, I hope you guys have found this video helpful, and feel free to comment your dressage tips. Bye!